a B and me and myself and B. Baby. The same bay that warned you on that air the last time. That warned you on air the last time. Really? That was a bay? Oh, no, wow. I, meant, I meant a friend we wow. and then we, we believe you. <laughs> We're on your side. <laughs> Always. Nice. <laughs> We're on your side, actually. <laughs> You're right. Well, Let's get it right. Yeah, so we started with Yami Kwame, a.k.a. Rob Doctor. Um, he's 1047 today yeah. and has launched a Rap Kwame. boxer shorts line That's right. to mark the milestone. And it's known as Love Equation by OK. Mm. Now, while people are happy for... We have a photo to show, by the way. So yeah. while... Um, show, you know, it. <laughs> show it. Show <laughs> it. While, you know, people are happy, the messages are pouring in, plus one, excited and all of that, people are also bring in the side of the conversation uh, are celebrities uh, and their entrepreneurial pursuits like mm, are mm. they able to sustain you know because then the, some names popped up um, John Dumelo's J Melo clothing yeah. line oh, or oh. execution yeah. clothing Sarah Cordier the Sarah collection okay. Diana Hamilton DH. so people were just asking what is the thing that they're doing to ensure that you know they're sustain able to sustain the brand. exactly let's people, not people, forget the let's not yeah, forget so that. that's it right there so the aim and uh, heavily packed uh, uh, at 47, guys. <laughs> and, uh, well, Oshami we'll Kwame, we'll for first. me, yeah. is a bit different from mm. the guys. And, yes, I'll say this without Mention any shred of doubt. Like, right? yo, okay. Oshami Kwame has been through the meal. Like, yeah. literally. Mm. With the many years in the industry, with education. Oshami Kwame is a graduate from the same course I'm doing right now. Yeah. Strategic oh, yeah. marketing. Right. Love He's it. been through it. Why, why and he, why he, he, yeah. he will not venture into a space he knows he's not winning at. Mm. With all the revenue, all the resources at, at hand right now, dude, he's got his uh, whatever. I'm, I'm sure, even if he's not the one, which Someone means is behind, yeah. maybe mm. he's just putting his face there face just to let you know it, that even yeah. with that minus me, the business is right. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sure Chami yeah. knows what he's doing very Retweets. well. And, 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 and let's not forget that. He took this while, this long, mm-hmm. to outdoor himself, do something yeah. that... Yeah. Yeah. So like, this is a man who's been globetrotting, talking about everything else. I think there was a For time him to put he himself on the, the line like this and go one of all, the states. It, yeah, I think they gave him the key to one of the states some time I, back, right? I have no doubt <laughs> that lessons have been learned. Yeah. Yes, it's good you cite all these other names before. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. sure he's also asked himself, himself the, same the same question. Yeah. Asked uh, and uh, done his brand equity, everything else, and he's sure that his aim to win on this one. Yeah. Let's give him time. I yeah. have already ordered two. I have come seen, on. No, yeah, come I've on. But two. someone, someone asked uh, the, uh, said brought, something. Yes. They were like, he missed the opportunity to name the brand. Um, was it OK47? Because he turns 47. The day yeah. And people are like, well, if he does that, that means the next day he will have to change it to OK48. Right. Right. <laughs> Guys, don't, don't, no, no. It's not like I'm saying that he's beyond correction or yeah, advice or whatever. but he probably has done his homework. I work. know OK. Yeah. And I know him on a very personal level. Yeah. I'm telling you this. He's thought probably has I've done got yeah. privileged convo with this young man. I know yeah. what he's doing. Guys, watch this blow. Watch, That's all I can say. Watch, watch this blow. Come yeah. on. I and, just hope uh, that they're able to create uh, the brief are able to accommodate some of us because you know <laughs> yeah parking you understand mm. we're not being here right, to right. We're, we're no, no cap you can't even be more no, I mean come on I FO. was right. really excited about I, mean, I am I, FO I with shared... a drop of enzyme and not the blood in me <laughs> I cannot lose oh I shared a story about <laughs> things to take to increase your testicles he was so excited about mm? that story really yeah you you were mm. oh I don't remember this particular <laughs> episode <laughs> what are we talking about <laughs> I know the Kai. You know the Kai. Where, Where were we? No, but I've got digital prints because I actually posted it on social media, mm. so it is there. I think we should move on to the next <laughs> part. <laughs> we are, we are. We actually are. So Ugandan dance group, uh, the Ghetto Kids, formerly known as Triplets Ghetto Kid, they have stunned fans and judges uh, with the exceptional dance routine and moving story on Britain's Got Talent. Mm. Now, they went on there. They introduced themselves like, we're so happy to be here. They thrilled the judges. You can yeah. tell that they were... Uh, the, the faces were just lit, like, yeah. oh yeah. my god, yeah. and that's it right there. So it's, we've got a video to it's, show it's, for no, it. It's on social media right mm-hmm. now. I'll, I'll drop some snippets to you as well, yeah. guys. It was the cutest thing to see on social media all weekend long, guys. Mm-hmm. He's the one who takes care of all of us. Ghetto Kids is all about making their lives better through paying their school fees, feeding, hospital bills, all the basic needs that a child wants. My dream is tonight because of dance we are here we can't wait we are so happy we are so
check it out on our Facebook page right now if you're yet to see it. It's the whole... I mean, it's it's pure. You can tell Janini that this kid deserved yes. every bit of that experience. And they actually... The moment. They golden actually buzzer. got a golden... Yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're actually... In the middle seeking, of the performance. Yeah, they're seeking to walk away with 250,000 huh? pounds doing it. prize doing money. It. Huh? Yes, 250,000. We will vote for them. No, say it again. Say it again. 250,000 pounds. Wait, are they the same kids on TikTok? Yes. They've yes. been doing all the yes. dance moves to all these it musicians. It has started the conversation about people not using their social media yeah. the right way. Mm. Because they have been consistent in posting Very this consistent. kind of content. Yes. And now this is the platform. So even if, you know, uh, the organizers want to do a background check, mm. they still they have evidence yes. they've got of, something to work with. And yes. so, yeah. Because, you know, Simon... We all know Simon is very hard to please, but yeah. people actually also said that, you know, when he well, gave birth, he's become been corrupted. soft. Yet, yeah. Oh, corrupted, but not soft people not corrupted. corrupted. But like, yeah, the so... The brand is corrupted. The brand, yeah. brand is yeah. yeah. so, A little bit. Oh, but anyways, I'm yeah, sorry. so... they. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They 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 had this moment for them. A lot but, of people talk, are reacting talk, talk to it. the story. I mean, for someone like me who yeah. spends majority of my oh, social time media time on TikTok... <laughs> I see yeah. them all the time, but I just like they're just regular kids having fun. Yeah. I didn't even know they were orphans. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know the story behind mm -hmm. them being housed. They yeah. go to school together. They, yep. uh, I, I didn't know any of this. I was mm -hmm. just like, oh, I'll see Mr. Easy repost some of the yeah. moves. Yeah. I see musicians yeah. contact. Davido yeah. yeah. shared some of their works. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, oh, these kids are just having a good time. Yeah. Talking about impacting lives through dancing. Sure. That is what I represent. That's why I keep dancing all the time mm. so that I impact lives. But uh, yeah, just a minute. No, it's your moves. It's your moves. You just yeah. messed our conversation yeah, up. No, I had to go there. It's your moves. I yeah. can't even. Don't worry. It's, it's the five-year-old girl for me. It's, I know. So and the fact that even after they got a golden buzzer, they yeah. still continue to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They were not. Yeah. They were going to stop. No, not, not to no, be no, no, no. We're gonna it's finish beautiful. our routine. It's beautiful to watch. I love yeah. it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. My name is Josephine. Hello, Josephine. How old are you, Josephine? Five years. Okay. I just want to say, you're absolute superstars, every single one of you. What you're doing is absolutely incredible, and we are honoured that you have come to Britain's Got Talent. You've lit up the stage and yes. the energy in the room and joy. I, I, I can't even imagine what's going through their minds, yeah. you know, like... This is a huge statement yeah, for Africa. Such this a is, huge and this is beyond them. Yeah, yeah. This is bigger than they even... They like, don't even know what they're doing to us right now. Because from like, now, it's it's up from now. Like, yeah. you know, they... they Charlie. Charlie, it's That's good. This is great. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. Music and How do they put... There's, there's this uh, quote, something mm. about... Um, Opportunity meets preparation, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so because you, you, they have been doing this, mm -hmm. on, just as you mentioned on TikTok, mm -hmm. all this while, and now, yeah, this is the moment to so show. So they just took the stage as another rehearsal, right? You get it. Wow, look. it. It becomes easier. Like then they were having fun. You can mm -hmm. tell on your faces they were having mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, down here, um, talented kids no, 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 seizing no, no, fortune. No, 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 no. Let's rephrase that. Anytime I hear down here, no, but it, I it, think. It, no, anytime oh, okay, I think, so I think you're not, lowering the bar. Yeah. Why would you think that? No, though? so over here. <laughs> please, don't go down Still here. Still on the issue of, oh, of, exactly. of, of, of talent. Here. Thank okay. you. <laughs> don't Talented kids in Ghana. Thank you. Yeah. Don't belittle yeah. us. I'm not belittling us. No, I'm sorry. That's how I interpret it. That, I'm sure I'm not alone. <laughs> AJ, are you in on this? I agree. Yeah. We are not down here. No, we are, we are not. Here. We are up there okay, with them. Okay, so yeah. over here... <laughs> Thank you. Season 14 of Ghana's <laughs> talented show. Um, that's Talented Kids. Uh, the finale happened over the weekend. That is uh, yesterday mm. at the International Conference Centre. And after weeks of electrifying performances, uh, we have seven-year-old Abigail. She beating stiff competition from five other contestants to win the ultimate title mm. as well as cash prize of 15,000 Ghana CDs and an educational tablet and 2,000 Ghana CDs worth of products from Whoa. title sponsor Indomie. We've got, you know, the moment where the announcement was made just so you have a feel of how things happened. Okay, so for our winner, she gets 15,000 and an educational tablet yeah, and also get products from our sponsors which is Indomie Deluxe paint, Pepsodent, Cowbell, Top Choco, Coco Plus, Kiki Juice, and 2001 of Indomie. The presentation 
is going to be done by Mr. Francis Doku, and the end of the presentation is going to be done by Aditya Payeti, who is the brand manager of Endomi. Are you ready for our winner? Yes! I don't think you're ready. Are you ready for the winner? Yes! Before that, before that, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Tsuku Se Takashi. sends a powerful Amazing. message about inclusion mm -hmm. and yes. celebrating diversity yes. as well because yes. of her ear impairment and so people on social media are celebrating her and they believe that she's resilient enough you know she they, they're talking about the fact that sometimes some people would want to uh, be in their corner because they feel a certain way or a certain type of way about something they, they think they do not have mm -hmm. but then this child has come out here to tell you that you know what you can have this and still progress and still be as successful as this and let's say, see, the dance moves over there. Chai, yeah. it's the so energy, man. <laughs> oh. uh, she was schooling me on Friday, but uh, yeah, I failed the test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. sentence for Abigail's only. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I should just let it go. Yeah, mm, I agree. Mm. let it go. Yeah, let it let go. It go. It's a huge statement, guys. It's super <laughs> proud. Super, super proud. Absolutely. So there is another story mm. of uh, uh, a Ghanaian okay. who left for the UK mm. and is now the new light uh, heavyweight sensation. Yes, his name Freezy is Seth, yeah, Seth Jima, aka Freezy McBones. <laughs> He's got social media talking over the weekend. Yes. With li limited boxing experience. What did you but say? Limited. <laughs> yeah, and I care about it. I care about Lily. Limited boxing experience, but. He's made Ghana proud. Yes. Uh, a lot of people are uh, congratulating him. So we, we had an uh, exclusive with him um, this morning on okay. TV3 New Day. Oh, great. And he spoke about his journey. Um, wow. One of it being, he started off as a kitchen porter. In, in, in the you know, be missing again for here. No, I'll be missing for Ghana. You're quite a boy. I'm a guy who So he, wa he, he was a kitchen porter in mm -hmm. the UK. Then um, one day, I think someone didn't come in or something, or some, for some reason, they asked him to help out in the kitchen. Mm. Then he, because he has 10 sisters in Ghana. What? Excuse ten me, what? Sisters, 10 sisters. 10 sisters. So he's always been used to house chores mm -hmm, and helping mm -hmm. around and cooking. Ah. So the chef realized that he had a knack for it and said, Oh, would you like to? actually be instead of a kitchen porter a chef mm. so he said yes so he, they gave him that opportunity that he moved from that to like a junior chef to being a sous chef wow. and was actually climbing up the, the the ranks in it then boxing came through then oh. he decided to combine both and then finally made the switch to do full-time boxing, boxing. But, and he also used to be a gardener as well. He used to do gardening on the side he as well. He was a hustle. He was, he's been there a hustle. There is no other way to look at it. And then every, Let, let's listen to yeah. him and let's see. I'm taking this off your show. Yes. Uh, new day today. Three minutes. And I, I asked them to give me a bit time for myself because I don't know why, but I mean, I was getting myself ready, getting the ring, and Frazee got to do what Frazee got to do. <laughs> at the end of the day, we got the ring, you know, so that was something great we was looking for. Well, uh, we hear you began your, um, you started work on as a chef, and then you sort of now fa managed to combine that with boxing. How difficult was that to be able to do and finally making boxing the centerpiece and finally working towards it? Yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit challenge because, um, I was a kitchen porter. Oh, wow. So true, yeah, so true kitchen porter. And uh, uh, the, the funny part of this uh, kitchen porter uh, story was that one of the chefs, well, uh, one day one of the chefs did not attend, you know. So the head chef called me and he said, hey, Frizz, do you want to come and help us to prep all this kind of thing? I said, yeah, why not? And I, I love, I love being in kitchen since day one. Like I, I got ten sisters, so I know how they cook, do things. You know, yeah. so I was like, yeah, okay. So I went there, help, helping him cut onion, prep, um, um, all kind of.
going on and there is a lot of a few products coming out like freezy jollof ghana jollof wow. that one we will hide it for now <laughs> wow all my time and everything for the sport so i i need to be out quick and quick so um I still having a chat with my manager, uh, which is Francis Warren. He's a Frank Warren son, and um, I hope mm. he's gonna give me. So, a so the full interview is on our TV three Ghana page. Yeah. Uh, yeah. AJ and Kelvin. Yeah. Uh, so go check it out and yeah. hear the story from menial work, uh, menial worker to professional boxer. One <laughs> thing that really uh, also really stood up about that he said. So he was talking about how he emotional, why he became very emotional with his post interview match, mm. uh, his post match interview. Sorry. Post match interview. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and then. He he stated that it's because God has really come through for him because at some point he hadn't seen his dad in eight years and mm -hmm. his dad got sick. I'd be all quiet and he couldn't come back. Mm -hmm. um, and his dad got really sick. Some Charlie. Then his dad got really sick and he reached out to him that he needs money for surgery. Oh. And he said, okay, he will, he, he, he's down right now, but he'll figure it out. So he asked a few friends. One friend gave him a gardening job. He did it. He got the money. He sent it to his sister. The doctor collected the money and then his father died. Oh! No freaking way. Yeah. So when he stands somewhere, like so it's it's all a, a combination of different factors. So his story is is very emotional. Um so it's, wow. uh, it's his win is not just a mm -hmm. win for him, it's a win for his entire village, yeah. his entire town and his family as a whole. So what the morale of the story is that we should all jackpa. Eventually yeah, let's get to that. <laughs> and pray for Ghana from yes. outside. Okay. Because, because you, you can you can you can be a next maybe not footballer yeah, but you can, you can be a boxer. For you know I'm I'm sitting on my potential you to are, be a boxer. You are because I'm already missing some teeth. Maybe that's God's way of telling me that if I catch that going because, because he started when he was 27. Wow, well, look. And then he's now he's four years later. He's, he's never now a major. So you can start. I saw some experts, uh, you know, criticize mm. his moves. Mm. They felt it was a beating and not boxing. They felt <laughs> that he created a lot of rooms for the opponent to hit back at him. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, but once he didn't hit back, we don't, that's we, want, we don't want to know. Ah. Keep your technicality oh to gosh, yourself. Hello? Gosh, we'll like, fix it later. No, but yeah, time goes you on, goes, I think he's going to pick a, you, you know, spent one hour or two hours watching Creed 3 yeah. and suddenly you think you can uh, educate yeah. somebody. <laughs> oh, no. no. But In you, the ring, it's a different thing altogether. It's a different thing altogether, uh, uh, it is the result that matters. <laughs> oh, is that not what? Have I, have I not won? Yes, I won. I don't need so to know problem? about boxing think, to no, differentiate between the no, winner and the loser. I think there are some, some technical things they look uh, at as well. Uh, the, you know, okay, okay. Did he not win? <laughs> he did, did he or did he not? Did he not win? He boxed him. Did he not beat? No, but he went to beat somebody's child. <laughs> did he use his leg? Didn't no. he go by the rules? Thank you. No, I, think, punch, no, I think those are the only rules they probably used. Let's go to Chami Kwame again. Quickly, Moisha says, God forgive my eyes. Moisha oh, we have him on the uh, line. reacts. No, have... no, Moisha is reacting to Chami Kwame. Oh. No, because we've spoken about oh, it. We hear Moisha is uh, back online. Again? Oh, yeah, she's talking I saw about a headline like where that. she... No, I, no, not head. I saw something, snap. Uh, yes, that's where she says um, needs to she needs someone to speak. Yeah. She needs someone to speak with or something that because God is God boring. Is boring yeah, yeah, someone needs to take her phone away. Yeah. I think, I think uh, she needs some yeah. Yeah. It's, well it's, it's, it's like an It's like an episode yeah. and these things just keep... It can be real triggering if, yeah. if based on certain triggers. So um, she should just... Someone, those around her should just take family, it off. Family, friends, please. Hmm. And just help us. Yeah. Help yeah. us help her. Help mm. us help her. Yeah. A 16 year old teenager, Ralph this Yall, story, this story is was shot hmm. and wounded after arriving at the wrong home to pick up his siblings. Now, according to CNN, the shooting occurred in Kansas City, Missouri. Now, the, uh, the Kansas City police, they have reportedly informed that the teenager's uh, parents asked him to pick up his siblings from an address on 115th Terrace. But uh, he accidentally, or mistakenly, I mean, mistakenly went to a home in 115th Street where a homeowner allegedly shot him. Now, not once, not once, but twice. So, peep, um, the story. Media. Yeah. So the story is on social media. People are calling for the homeowner who shot the child to be um, um, detained. He, he was arrested and released. And, uh, yeah, for 24 hours. So according, apparently, that the police say that the Kansas City law states that you can hold the person for 24 hours, but if you don't have evidence, mm. you let the person go. So now the people, as uh, uh, some of the people in the community, have gone to uh, the area where the, the child was shot mm. to to raise placards 
cards and to raise cards to say that you know uh, when someone knocks your door it doesn't mean you shoot like you can ask because apparently people, people are also uh, sharing a story where a similar uh, incident happened a, a white child went to knock on someone's door the homeowner asked what you are looking like what are yeah, you looking for yeah. bef- you know, there's usually that basic- interaction before I, I, yes and so, so we have the picture of the, of, of, the of little yeah, saxophonist Ralph, yeah Ralph so wait the, he's dead no he's he's uh, wounded uh, He's wounded, and the, the police have also said that he's responding to treatment oh. at the moment. But people are also hoping that something more comes out of this because the homeowner is in his home, nothing is happening. And, mm. and, and I think that's the, the bottom line. That's where people are really concerned that you can't just shoot someone and just. When they, when they, they don't show that you're a threat to you. They're a threat to you. To you. Yeah. What happened to what are you looking for? It's intention to cause harm. Listen, people are saying, say, we could just stay this country now yeah. like that. We'll cope with Ooh. Baumia and Akufado. I think we'll be fine. Uh, nah, we'll you be fine. Yeah, I'm, I don't even know how to I move had to on go from there. this. I had to go there no, because no, nobody no. was willing to go. Guys, uh, I've, I've arrived there. On church. I'm Mako. Mako. We don't want to mm-hmm. do yeah, man, I've arrived. Guys. <laughs> what does we don't Ghana, we get problems. We do. But I think once you're able to make it uh, to your home or make it to work alive, mm. I think we should be grateful for but that. Sp- Sports journalists are also calling for, uh, you know, the Western media to also take a look at uh, the whole gun violence yep. thing. Because then I they're agree. like, they can talk about literally everything, I but agree. not that. And I so, agree. because the World Cup will be held there a couple of years to come. And so mm. they're like, how sure are we that people coming there to support are, you know, are going to be, yeah, Charlie, it's, it's scary out there. Yeah. Yeah. And America is not safe, guys. <laughs> we, they should come to, through to Africans. Let's yeah. teach them how yeah. to keep their place yeah. safe. Yeah. Africans are willing yeah. to help them. Hmm. If only they would humble themselves before, before the, the Lord. Lord <laughs> he will leave them up. Um, no, but that song. Okay, anyway, it's fine. Mm. Just <laughs> humble yourself. Come to Africa. Ask us how we do it. Yeah. We don't walk around with guns. We have to pay. But difference day inside. Difference day inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Ghana Education Service, they have sent a delegation on a fact-finding mission to Ghana Senior High School in Tamale to ascertain the accuracy of reports that uh, toilet cubicles have been converted into an accommodation facility for boys of the institution. It's okay. Hold on. I think we should look at this America issue again. If it means we should travel, and I go think away. we should really look at it. Because I'm talking about the story. <laughs> Because Ghana, you're likely to sleep in college. No, in a, in a no, no, it's not that. It's, it's, it's all safe, but it's okay. We can live. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, great. Yeah, Excuse so. my previous utterance. <laughs> you are taking this back. I you are taking this back on Friday. What were you saying? It is not my word. Oh, wait, what I'm were you saying? It it's on not my fr- own On Friday. <laughs> when I was taking this back, now we're there. He can change his mind, according to yeah. So um, the, the the delegation that they send there, um, you know, the deputy general uh, of GES, that is Stephen Kweku, so he says that they will brief um, the public after they have uh, mm. given the brief to the director general. And so people are also hoping for what the, the outcome is going to mm. be. Mm. Uh, the, when the video came out, reactions on social media, mm. it, was, it was not pretty. And mm. so then people, yeah. and you know, because of the whole, um, let me say this again, AI, yeah, AI. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to be sure I'm saying it right. Because people might think that just it was, it, it was artificial intelligence. Yeah. I think it's easier that way. Yeah, I should do I myself. I'm speaking from experience, but yeah. But yeah, um, so let's also take a look at the 24th VGM Experience concert. <laughs> yep. It recorded a massive turnout as residents of Ho defied an earlier downpour to step out uh, in their numbers for the concert, which went down Saturday night at the Ho Sports Stadium. Headline including Stone Boy, Medical, Comedo, PCS. I saw um, Celestine Donkos. Mm-hmm. Listen, mm-hmm. listen. Energetic. It was... It and was our very good. own DJ faculty did his yeah. thing. Yeah. Faculty. Mm-hmm. And our IR, but anyways, yeah. He did his <laughs> thing. It was amazing to watch. But just uh, catch a few of uh, the excerpts on our Facebook. Uh, we've also got some audios to share with you as well. Okay. I know. That's why. 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 That
Uh, today, like three to one, I'll give you like hundred percent. Like today, I saw the energy. The energy was massive. Yeah, like today is my greatest. Day. It's been good. Yeah, it's been good. Oh, hey, we are enjoying it. We are enjoying it. Came here to see um, <laughs> medical. Um, when the show started on a good note and ended on a good note. As you can see, everything. People are still here. The whole hole came out. And then it was a jam. I want to say jam after jam after jam. I even wanted to pay because it's a free show. I've had fun, Charlie. I've had fun. Beautiful noise. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yep. So, um, bits and pieces of uh, how things went down mm -hmm. over the weekend. Connect. It was it was cool. Like uh, I had okay. So I okay fine. It was good. You had what? I I I. It I, was I, good. I, 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 I didn't enjoy the performances. Watching from home, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had to be there to feel it. Yes. Yeah. So had to again, be there to because feel I've it. been part of the yeah. experience before. Yeah. Maybe it's a different vibe when you're there. Yeah, no, yeah. So let's. Which is let's true. Yeah. But sometimes, if the, they're able to give you something to work with while watching from home alone, mm -hmm. then. You, it, it shows you exactly how magical is happening on yeah, the stage. So yeah. some, yeah, but some, not so much. <laughs> but I love the fact that it gives the locals opportunities to climb on that stage, have a feel of what I saw Chief the Juan. masses. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he's not a local anymore. Yeah, well, yeah. He's now because, more because, yeah. international. True, 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 but true, I true, get true. it. He's from there. That being, and he true. performed after 2 a.m. Yeah, and I saw um, this person. I think there was this. The, Free show, dear. You can't be there when did she start? <laughs> when did she no, There was a Maoli music. Yeah, at some point, I was from, actually. Uh, MTN hit makeup. I, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? I was yeah. kidding at home. I was like, is it Mali music? Like, you know, but yeah, the, yeah. No, he was no. cool. Yeah, like, very. I think, yeah. It, it was good. It was good. Charlie, I think cool. kudos go down to the organizers. Yeah. We should have more of this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, shout out to the Especially with the, the downpour thing as well. It happens every yeah. time, though. It does? Yeah, like every time there is VGMA experience concert hall. Even it when rains. it was an amnesia, yeah. it hey. would rain and then, uh, yeah, same thing Oh, happening. so then they're used so to like, things so like I'm that. So I'm sure they're used to it. Okay. And also around the, this time of the year, you know? Yeah. So no, you can not really predict. Okay. I yeah. wasn't... In this Soto Ebo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It rained this morning, right? I know, but I'm, I'm just... I thought it was a whole climate change thing. Yeah, the no, change, change we're getting, the climate. We're getting into the... the yeah, change, change, change I know, that I know climate it's for May, longer. June. I don't know if for <laughs> April, but I'm... Oh, yeah, sure. no, we experienced rain in February. And in March, though. <laughs> no, and no, no, and no, May, February, no, it was the first <laughs> time. We even experienced November and December. Thank you. So now, every every time it rains... No, but they, they asked them and they mentioned that... Uh, I think it's a change. So when it's about to change, it happens, but we haven't paid attention. That's why... We think, you know, times are changing. That's right. But that's it for the trends and ENT. Yes. That's right. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday Happy to birthday. you. Happy birthday. Celebrate your birthday. Lots of greats, including yes. our very own mm. Achami Kwame. Kwame, a.k.a. Bla Boxes. A.k.a. Uh, AK Bla Boxes. You, see, you know, one person who missed out on this whole boxer show is like Kita of Big Brother. <gasps> yeah. He could have brought out his own yeah. line because he was known for boxer shorts he in the Big Brother house. For wearing one yes. boxer shorts in the Big Brother house. house. <laughs> it's so true. That boxer shorts was more popular than his I uh, votes. I swear. So I felt <laughs> oh <my laughs> he could have God. climbed. <laughs> 
so I remember we, yeah. we need to bring Big Brother Africa back. Yeah. We're tired of just the Niger, the, the Niger one. one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think before I break a crap. Yeah, we have like, moved on. They need to get to a point. The only way to get the interest back mm. is to get um, the entire Africa involved yeah. again. So then once, once people's numbers. reps are in there, then people will be more interested. But to I watch. hear the majority of those who really vote for the Nigeria house and, and all that Nigeria and South Africa. So and by so they're looking it's, at the it's numbers. Just, it's the eyeballs. Because mm. me, if I see a Ghana person in them, yeah, you're, Gio, you're, you're, let, let's go. We'll me, let me and you go. My day. Uh, so, if I come back, taxi. I'm not too sure how my marriage go day, but I'm going to see. <laughs> <laughs> the things you go see for the, you know, go dress. <laughs> DJ Abiyam is here. DJ Abiyam, what song are you giving us uh, as we jump start the second part of the show? Ride by your side. Ride by your side. Okay, you want to go on a mellow R&B hip hop style for us and climb up. We're ready. Let's do this. 3FM Drive with Giovanni and AJ. The 3FM Drive. 